Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. And... I hear you, zombie. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Cool. Alright, well, that's taken care of. So, yeah, Chorus Plant is growing eh, nicely. And... nope. I almost took off. Wow, that butterfly survived. Oh, he just died. <laughs> it suffocated in the sprinkler. They do that. They're not particularly smart. Even lying for the fact that, you know, they are, you know, insects. All right. Oh, hey. Got friends. All right, then. So, last episode, right? Oh, got a creeper over here. We had a, uh, dang it. Bit of a mix-up with the ethanol. Got it taken care of. Uh, do not have a good way of disposing of the ethanol. So, honestly, we're probably just going to keep a tank of that around for a while. Uh, but we got ourselves our metal press up and running. We got the atomic reconstructor. Made a bunch of stuff. Inori crystal. And I can actually go through and start on some canola power. I need some advanced coils, so I need some gold. Okay. And see if we can. Uh, eh, we'll grab like eight. Now, I do need to get a good supply of obsidian going here soon. So there is an engineer's decor. There's a mod I added in. The small mineral melting furnace. Heats up mineral blocks to magma blocks and finally to lava. Which is kind of cool, right? Fairly cheap. Metal barrel, couple external heaters, obsidian, blocks of steel. That's the expensive part. But it's not bad. And I can use that with a uh, stone barrel to make an obsidian generator. It's not extremely fast, but the point is you basically get it set up early and just let it run. Right. Uh, let's see. Metal former. On extruding. Sweet. Nothing in there. Oh, yeah. Found out you can uh, use block cutting machine to coat, uh, cut logs. So. Definitely works good there. But, uh. Something else I've done. Let me go grab some fertilizer. And just grab half a stack of you, and we'll put half a stack back. Or we'll, we'll grab a stack and then put half a stack back. So it's just appetite and sand, pretty much. There we go. I went ahead and changed up my tree farm a little bit, so I don't have to worry about it running out of uh, fertilizer anytime soon. The only thing that I'm kind of concerned about, honestly, is... Hello, frog. Not the frog. Frog's... The frog is cool, right? The fact that this thing likes to pick up pollen from the butterflies. And I've got it set to auto-extract sand out of over here. So it just needs dirt every once in a while. Which I don't really have on me right now, so I'm not going to bother filling it up. But uh, let's go ahead and grab, not that, this. Grab our gold cable. And, dang it, oh well. Let's put that away. Actually got a decent amount of pollen. I mean, it's not great, but it works, it works. So, I'm also keeping Inferium in a compacting drawer because it does condense down to blocks of Inferium. And isn't there like a furnace I can make? Uh, let's see, the seed rod reprocessor? Yeah, the Inferium Furnace. Also, if I have a Master Infusion, I can convert blocks at a time. Growth Accelerators from Mystical Agriculture require Crystal Growth Accelerators from IC or AE2. Uh, there is Nature Seeds, which that's a really super cheap option, actually, isn't it? And then we need it for Inferium Seed Tier 2, and that's it, actually. JEI does this thing sometimes in 112 where it'll display an extra page for whatever reason that just isn't there. 
Uh, but yeah, just Imperium Seeds, we just need any four of any Tier 1 Essence plus the setup. Which will help in the future. Uh, let me put that away. Just not right now. So, Gold Cable, right? Well, I am going to need some of these. And some of these, right? Let's just go ahead and make two of these advanced coils up. And if I want to make a canola press, I also need the Inori. I need cobblestone and some canola. Okay. Not a huge problem there. I mean, it's, you know, cobblestone. And then we went ahead and made a stack of Inori last episode, and it's good to see it's going to come in handy. Now, canola. Do I actually have any of that? If I did, it would be... In... I do. Look at that. Sweet. So, things we can use canola for. Fermenting barrels, which we're going to be making next, and the canola press, and you can make seeds out of them. So, not a huge deal. Uh, wooden casings. I think one press can keep up with three fermenters, if I remember correctly. And need three inori. Go ahead and claim that. Fermenting barrel was also just logs. Okay. Uh, not really a huge problem there. Flux infused battle wrench is kind of nice to get, though. So, logs would be... No, not there. Here. Uh, we need six, right? Well, no, we need 18. We need six each. Alright, so, uses for you is that. Times three. And there goes that quest. Go ahead and get that one claimed up to block of ironwood. All right. I mean, I'm going to need a decent amount of ironwood in the future. And actually, the block is not a half bad building materials. It's not the greatest, but uh, for one, it's apparently extremely resistant to being broken with a pick. There we go. Yeah, not the great, not good, not bad. It's just a thing, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So one thing I'm going to need from this canola press I set up is I'm going to need some startup power. Because the press takes power. The uh, fermenting barrels don't. So let's put you down. And we're going to go, say, one, two, three. Fermenting barrels will automatically pull from an adjacent canola press, which is kind of nice, actually. And let's get this stuff taken care of here. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can eat canola seeds too, by the way. I'm going to recommend it. They tend to cause uh, nausea. Which is, uh, yeah, not a great stat stack to be hit with. So, what I'm going to do uh, for now is we're just going to. Uh, Beat this thing some power from an RTG. Hey, look. And it's, uh, working. The little bubbly animation here is. And you can see that this here is not filling up. It's because it's automatically being put into here where it's going from canola oil to refined canola oil. And hopefully this will be enough to jumpstart the system. I don't have to keep this over here. That is my only RTG right now. Would love to get more, but that requires really progressing into nuclear craft. All right, so we're just gonna let that run for a bit till it processes everything. Uh, next up would be well, there's upgraded canola, then there's ultimate canola, but that requires the empower. Upgraded canola, super easy. Uh, we don't have any. Yeah, no, I used all the seeds up. Okay. Well, if I'm quick. There might be one piece of coal left over here. Hey, look at you. All right, you go like this. Now, upgraded canola just goes there. Hey, there we go. Upgraded canola power. Crystallized canola seed. And upgrade the oil made by a fermenting barrel when throw it into it. Slightly... It could be confusing there. You don't, you don't throw this thing in the fermenting barrel. You place a block of this in the world 
Like that. Uh, yeah, I've got some blocks on here. We go. We can do this, right? And then tuck that in there. And it changes the oil. It is now crystallized oil. So that is something maybe I should have made right now, but oh well. Heavy plated shield. Really? Huh, cool. And there is, it's like the magnetic glove or something. God, there's a lot of magnets. Uh, yeah, it's a magnetic glove. Equips the shield, press of a button. And I believe it's uh, double tacking, double tapping, tacking, yeah. Double tapping back. And it will uh, automatically equip the shield for you. Kind of handy. Could be. If I ever use shields, I would actually really like that. As it is, it's just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. That's a thing. Yeah, you hear grape seeds. I got so many grape seeds. All right, so I need probably an oil generator. Coil would be nice, actually. Uh, let's see, it's at and actually additions. It is the something or other, right? There is the coal generator, but the block I want is actually the something or other, right? Okay, I'm going to need fluid placers and collectors. Eventually, uh, we're going to need a uh, auto pre automatic precision dropper. And probably a farmer, too, actually would be a good move. Now, there are a uh, leaf. That's the bioreactor. There is a leaf eating generator, I think. Around here somewhere. Uh, let's see. There's just a couple uses for you. Vertical digger. Oh, that requires empowered void. Uh, empowered void is not particularly cheap. Uh, it takes 10 million forge energy per empowered void block. So, yeah, not the greatest there. Where is the thing, right? Leaf heating, magmatic. Can I just look up uses for you? No, that's just... Yeah, oil generator. That's what I looked up, right? Yeah. It's not a thing. So... Right. We look up you. We're going to fluid empowered canola seeds into this. We'll then equal empowered oil, which is about the best you can get. Compression dynamos. We actually... I can make these now. I have an atomic reconstructor. Requires a high voltage wire coil. Which, uh, honestly, not bad, right? That was aluminum, yeah. That is lead steel. Here we go. And... Take a nap. Yeah, I'll keep this keep the ice. Might have plans for that in a little bit, actually. So throw that out. Those out. Being shot. No. Hmm. Bad monkey. Go away. And then I'm just gonna need some sticks, which I should have brought with me. I had, I wouldn't have to be running back. Although there was wood out there, I could have just gone and grabbed some of that. My bad. So, not treated, but regular, that's impregnated. Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. All right. Talking up the shield a bit, but I'm not going to use it. Just, uh, not kind of my cup of tea, really. There we go. HP wire coils. There's also steel cable coil for decorative purposes. There is razor wire. And then I added the immersive cables mod in. Because I just kind of like the idea of it, honestly. Which is immersive style wiring. 
for refined storage and applied energistics. Hey. Thank you much. So now, though, I can make dynamos. All right, so... Interject Infuse would be nice. It's a little out of my reach right now, unfortunately. We have a Steam Dynamo, which is something I could actually make work pretty good here. Magmatic, which runs off a lot of compression. Compression Dynamos can run off of quite near anything. And actually, ethanol is a uh, viable fuel as well. I don't think the system could do it, though. I really don't. Uh, yeah, you're getting a little low on saplings. One, I mean, this is good for very, very basic early game power. Oh, did I not have enough room for that? That's not a... Yeah, I guess not. You know what, here. Keep the brain. Got more pollen in there, too. And, right. I might be able to make that work quicker but not really with the mods that I have currently. Uh, one thing I could do uh, would be uh, Batania. I could set up Mana Burst going through the leaves every once in a while, and that would force basically force some block update, which would then trigger the Quick Leaf Decay, and that would speed things up quite a bit, because the main slowness of this is how slow the leaves decay. Yeah. It's a bit unfortunate, but I don't like I have access to a farming station anytime soon. Because that one, that just takes out the leaves all at once. It's great. But it does require an industrial machine chassis, which is a little out of reach when you get down to it. Industrial dye blend, pretty standard. Uh, reinforced obsidian requires dark iron, which I can make now. Grains of infinity, which, well, like the bedrock on fire and you're good, right? Simple machine chassis. This is where it gets a little bit fun. Titanium alumnide plates, which, by the way, good luck finding titanium on Earth. Uh, hardened cell frames, which require, let's look here, uh, 10 million forged energy apiece, steel casing, energy cell frame, invar gear, invar plate, steel rod. Energy cell frames require metallurgic infuser, and you're putting 400 units, aka 40 redstone, or the smart way, five of these uh, compressed redstone wafers into a machine frame. And the machine frames are made in a thermionic fabricator with a device frame, iron casing, machine case, heavy engineering block, and a machine frame for Marv tools. All right, device frame, that's cheap, right? Just copper, glass, and tin. Uh, let's see, iron casing we went ahead and made, and that is tin electron tubes, which is always fun there. Machine case from Tesla Core Lab is an advanced machine casing that's been upgraded again. And then advanced machine casings is all this wonderful stuff, right? And then the machine frame from our tools. Yeah. Pink slime. Enough said, right? Well, it's a little ways out of our reach. Unless I can somehow magically get a few things in loot crates here, it's probably not going to be anything I can do relatively soon. Now, the farmer requires a nori crystal blocks and an iron casing. That could work. I think I could do that. So you are done. You can come here now. Go ahead and slap you back down. And let's see. We got our wonderful transmission coils made up. Now, power is going to be a little interesting for right now. Unless I do a massive power plant somewhere. Which, I mean, I could do, probably. Start making one anyway. But if I'm not going to have my power system completely centralized, then it's not great. Also, there is the issue of uh, moving power around right now. And honestly, I think something like Flux Networks is uh, probably mid-late game. Or late-mid game. However you want to look at it, really. So, let's see, though. Universal Cable was not those these right 
Basic wheels we've made. These I can make without a problem. Just need four iron bars. I'm thinking about making another block cutting machine. Well, give me a sec here. Uh, let's have some of this. There we go. I want to check to see like this wood can go in there. Right? You. Uh, there. Looks like it does. Awesome. I wonder what it spits out, though. Seem to remember these having an issue in some edition of the game, uh, spitting out just oak. Oh, hey, it actually does make the green wood. All right, or green heart. Cool. Uh, but you'll notice we got four planks out of there. If we just craft a log by itself, you only get two. So I can use that for steam dynamo power. And then we could use a canola farm, this setup here, for uh, compression dynamos. After I kickstart the system with this tank of ethanol. So let's see if we can get this farmer made up. Uh, I am going to need some wheat seeds. I think I have enough, though. And... You, you. Still getting used to my uh, my own storage. So... Give that a sort for one. Uh, actually, it looks like I have no wheat seeds. Huh. Well, that's... Slightly unexpected, actually. I want that there. Okay, let's do this. And... You're an ingot. You can go there. You and... Well... Actually, yeah, I don't need the battle wrench. There we go. And you. There we go. So, yeah. And we got four seeds. Okay. Perfect. It's exactly what I needed. So then that would be an iron casing and then 36 of these. Not really a huge problem, right? Now, other use of this is to make a drill, which is honestly not bad. And I do have a drill core laying around somewhere, I think from a dragon's nest. Also, farmer's a quest. There we go. Apricot jelly sandwich. Hmm. I think I need fruit, right? I also need some dairy. Okay. Oh, cool. New flavor. All right. So, hmm. I think I've pretty much eaten everything I've got in here for... Especially that contains dairy. So, uh, actually, let's go with cherry yogurt, right? No, I've got a lot of cherries. So, oh, is it freaking setting again already? Yeah. Sun never stays up long enough. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut here and plot out a place where I can set up like a canola farm and whatnot. All right, so I think I have a bit of an area planned out. I ended up getting some worms, too, which is kind of anticlimactic when you get down to it. Because they're really not that useful. So we're looking at, though, making a stone drum from extra utilities. So I'm going to need a metal bucket. I need some stone burnt. Which, didn't I make some of that? Yeah. And work and double compressed cobblestone. And then I need two stone slabs. All right, so I just need another metal bucket then. And be over here, wouldn't it? Yep. There we go. Oop. I'm always forgetting exactly where that thing is. All right, so stone burnt, double compressed, stone slabs, done. But now I want to make this. So that's going to require 14, 18 iron plates. 
There's what, nine? 18, and hey, fluid storage one, sweet. So I wanna take 14 of these cauldrons. Iron sheet metal. And we're gonna upgrade the stone to an iron drum. Now, here's a question. Yeah, I did have some cauldrons, dang it. Oh well. Oh well, I should probably grab some conduiting as well. Uh, that's over here. Alright, item. Uh, let's go pressurize. Let's go ender. I've got more of ender than I do the regular. And there's that. And, and here's... I'm going to need a uh, an inventory of some flavor down here. And that should probably do it for right now. I know I'm going to forget something, but oh well. But I haven't gotten around to making another block cutting machine yet. That'll be in the future, I think. And I brought my RTG over here to kind of jumpstart this system a little bit as well. Like the farmer, which hasn't actually... Nothing's grown yet, huh? Oh, yep. Oh, I got it too close here, didn't I? Well, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I'm missing a couple pieces of dirt here. Oh, well, it's not going to affect the overall efficiency that much. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm not going to work this exactly, but we go right here and we'll get this put down, like say here, there we go. You are going to be insert on green, extract on brown, always active. You'll be extract green, always active. You will be insert on brown, no extract. So then in, as the canola grows, it should put any excess seeds to get, or any ex, any seeds to get, so we'll go here until these six slots here fill up, and then we'll start pushing seeds to here. Also, any actual canola at harvest will go here first, we'll put it into here, and then get sent into the actual canola press itself. Which, by the way, expedition machines, they save power and inventories when you move them. So, kind of handy. Let's put you here. And do I have my yet a wrench on me? I have it in my bag, right? Here's a question. Oh, you guys. Oh. Freaking the drum and the fermenting barrel both take up a full block space. So up will be extract always active. East will be extract always active. With the yogurt barrel or the drum and then actually yeah fluid conduit and do this uh you will not connect there or here right although hmm, do that instead I want to put you here. Downside, I am going to have to uh, do it this way. Up, extract always active. There, that looks a little bit better. And then this here is going to push uh, the empower, not empowered oil, but uh, canola oil. Is that another Atlas moth? And those things are huge. Uh, but that'll push the canola oil into that drum where you can have a bit of a stock of it going for now. Alright, so what did it take to make a sprinkler now? Yeah, you know, I made a couple of them, I already forgot. Water bucket, iron bars, and bone meal. Okay. 
Well, hell. Right. Oh, hey, cool. I have an extra bucket here. I forgot about it. Was I... Mm, I got one arrow there, didn't I? Alright. Iron bars would be... Not in here, but solid blocks, yeah. You and you can go away. Now I just need a bucket of water. Which I've got on tap over here. Ah, that's right, you're still tied up, aren't you? I've been slowly emptying out that crafting table. I just haven't quite got around to it yet. Hey, there we go. And up. The downside of the uh, ring of the flying squid is you do not have a whole lot of vertical speed. So, it's not the best for getting away from creepers unless you got a bit of a head start. Right, so... Let's go ahead and get our sprinkler down. Oh, you're going to be like that? Okay. It doesn't like placing against plants for whatever reason. It's really odd. But it'll place against other solid blocks, so... Not a huge deal. But this should start running now. Uh, we want to... Do this. It'll speed up things quite a bit. There we go. We should see the farmer go through and harvest things. Eventually. And you can see here how the farmer actually works. Yeah, that was okay. Right, there it goes again. Awesome. So we should be seeing, yep, we have canola in here. That's one of the reasons for this buffer because, well, it's not going to be that fast normally. I tick accelerated the sprinkler, but it does get a bit of a head start. And tell you, we're going to grab half of this, turn it into seeds, and then just feed it back into here to kind of give it a jump start. But it goes basically, oh, what is it? It goes west to east, then north to south, right? So it'll start northwesternmost spot, go to the northeasternmost spot, and then move one slot, and then down it goes, right? And there's some clover in the way. Dang it. And it doesn't uproot flowers for a reason, which is okay, I guess. But All right, and you are now out of power, which is hardly ideal, right? We're going to put you here. And let you down here for now. There we go. You guys filling up the canola oil? Great. Refined canola oil. Canola oil is going into this drum here. And I could run that as is at this point. And... It is a little bit tempting right now to do that. It's going to take a few steps for automation purposes. But basically what I can do is we can route that uh, refined oil into a fluid place. It'll place it in the world and have an automatic precision dropper drop crystallized canola seeds into it, turn to crystallized oil, and then have it get picked up by a fluid collector. And then distribute it to the engines. Or then we could do that placer collector combo again with empowered seeds. Huh, forgot that it doesn't use a bucket up. Oops. To make the uh, empowered oil, which is probably the best oil when you get down to it. Uh, worms, though. That was a quest. Fish dinner. Yeah, all right, that's something new. Range collector, automatic feeder. This is for breeding animals, collecting items, you know, like a vacuum hopper setup. Uh, but honestly, the Empower is our next step. And we just need a bunch of crystal, pretty much. Or a bunch of quartz. 
turn it into the aesthetic varieties here. But I don't want to get into that right this second. I want to get some power up and running. So dynamos, right? Uh, compression dynamo was here. 10 gears, 10 ingots, and then some iron. Okay. Pretty sure I don't have any 10 gears just laying around. I think I may have actually used those all up. Uh, let's make, like, eight gears. I can run through here, but... Yeah, I need to change the setup here. It's constantly, uh... Every time I reload the world, or even this area, that connection likes to break for a reason. It's just something about how the two mods interact. There we go, and... We can drop those there. Alright, we have our 10 gears. Now I just need 10 ingots and iron. And that'll make us some compression dynamos. And that's enough to make four compression dynamos. Which honestly, not bad, right? Alright, so 10 iron, and then we're going to need some redstone as well. And I need inventory space. Okay. So, you go here. Was... Like so, I think, right? No, it wasn't. It was... Like that. So, actually, that's enough for eight dynamos, isn't it? Hmm. Not there. There. What other uses are there for ten gears? There's the dynamo... There's a resin funnel, which we attach to the sawmill. Pattern validation for some... Was that a sequential fabricator? Yeah. Used to be known as a cyclic assembler. Uh, the rainmaker. Farm gearboxes. Farm blocks, pretty much, right? And there's a lot of varieties of those. And the morphing tool. Ah, electrical engine is also needed, those. And squeezer. Yeah, let's just uh, make up four of these for right now, I think. And then the other thing I wanted to look into making was steam dynamos for burning wood, right? Let's go ahead then and we'll drop those into here. I grabbed a tin nugget by accident, it looks like. I just did that, didn't I? So steam dynamos. Which, actually, there's also a steam turbine controller from advanced generators, but uh, yeah, it requires like control circuits. And, and yeah, a little while until we can get to that one. Into that mod, anyway. So it just needs iron and copper. Yeah, not a problem. We are good to go on that front. You know, I hit control Q. Thank you. Sweet. So then there's that puppy right there. Now, one thing I'm thinking about doing is maybe taking a couple episodes and start working on what will be my final base. I kind of have an idea of how I want to build it. Uh, let me know what you think if you want to see that or not. It could be good, but at the same time, it could be kind of boring. But if I don't devote a couple episodes to it, it's going to be probably a while till I start working on it. Alright, there's that. Um, used quartz. How much of that do I have left? I have seven. I am one short. Uh, another quartz, right? One, two, three, four. Just go ahead and put one of these away, and then we'll grab... Uh, not there. I can't. Uh, that's a good spot for that, that, this, and that to go. There, that actually just cleaned up a bit of inventory space right there. Uh, but yeah, if I, uh, if I don't, then I'm going to have to build it bit by bit as I do other episodes and whatnot. And it's just going to take a while to get done. 
But at the same time, right now, I don't really have a lot of materials to play around with. We're looking at mainly a basic uh, overline or outline, maybe, would be a better term for it. As far as I know, overline is not really a word that would be used in this case. I see you there. Oh, ow. Ah, the freaks always come out at night. Sleeping mat. Thank you. Downside of the sleeping mat has durability. The upside costs one leather and one wool. So, not horrible. Uh, how are we doing here? 24 buckets so far with the refined oil. Not bad. And we've got our inner fluid conduits. So we're going to want some of these down as well. Drop that here. You and then you can go in. And uh, how do, exactly do I want to set this up? What I could do is, we'll just do this here, and uh, these sides can just uh, not hook up. And, hmm. Okay, fine, whatever. away. You really just don't care, do you? There you go. And then this one thing I could do is I could then just right click this and it'll autofill that. This one won't though because of, well, reasons, right? I need to actually click the reservoir block it's sitting on. All right, there we go. With a the wrench. There we go. And then I could also do that with these two. Now, this one is going to be powered up as soon as I turn this conduit on. But I don't quite want to do that yet. And I can put down the other two dynamos here. Now I just have the problem of how to get refined, you know, canola oil into these two. Without it looking like a mess. And honestly, probably going to speak better. Not better, but oh, uh, yeah, still better. Uh, if we run from underneath here, and it is going to try to connect, but interfluid condos don't actually hold the fluid inside of them which is a plus, so I don't have to worry about them picking up any water or whatever. There we go. And then I can just do like a piece of conduit binder, or a, yeah, not conduit binder, a facade over the top of that later on. And always active. I forgot one thing, thing. I, yep, I forgot a step, dang it. Also had a bit of a verbal malfunction right there. Got to enable this one. There we go. And then I've got a couple extra dirt blocks now. Which is why I wasn't using my shovel. You can do that. You are doing great. Kinda. <laughs> That's without me speeding up this... Uh, Sprinkler, by the way. We're probably going to need another one of these setups, to be perfectly honest. But we do have canola power up and running. Uh, right now, this generates up to 480 RF a tick. Generating less power now because the internal buffer is filling up.
but I think I just need now to somehow get this power to somewhere useful, right? That is the difficult part. Uh, but go ahead and let me know what you think about the idea of me working on the uh, the grand base idea. Uh, it is going to be in this area around here, so. But uh, let me know if you want to see me working on it or just do it off camera. But on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.